I can't eat the I can't eat the pickle because it's not in the circle. So What's up guys and how you doing? So today we're going to do a challenge of only eating circle shaped food for 24 hours. That's right. So you will get disqualified if you eat anything other than a shape of a circle. The only exception is you can have maybe a soda or a bottle of water. That's fine. But everything has to be eaten today in the shape of a circle. Because it's a challenge, I thought we'd play a bit of a game and I created my very own mystery box. So inside here has about 50 restaurants and places that may or may not have circle shaped items. You never know. I'll try and do as many as I can today. So we're gonna pick right now. <gasps> Yay, Pizza Hut! Yay! All right guys, so first we're gonna go to Pizza Hut right now. So without further ado, and I'm really hungry because I haven't had breakfast. Let's go, come on. Oh, one more thing guys. What do you reckon this artwork that I did on my wall? I spray painted this myself. It's so cool. Guys, I had this moment where I felt like being super artistic and I just started spray painting with whatever came to mind and I, I just spray painted these figures. I thought it was pretty cool. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment, alright guys? Alright, let's go. Come on. Hey, how are you today, sir? Um, just for Demetrius. Yep. Thank you so much. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Alright guys, so we got the pizza, Pizza Hut. Oh my god. This is for you vegetarians. I got vegetarian here. There you go. Shape of a circle, so still going. No disqualification. Oh. I haven't had Pizza Hut in years, eh? Oh my god. So good. Oh my god. It's so good, eh? That's a really good pizza. You know what I love about Pizza Hut? Back in the days, when Pizza Hut used to have their restaurants, and when Pizza Hut used to have their restaurants, I used to go there as a kid. That's why I love Pizza Hut so much. Because it's just those good memories when I had when I was a kid. I really wish they brought back those Pizza Hut restaurants because they were so good and they had the buffet with like all the pizzas. And you can just Pick whatever pizza you want and just sit back at your table, get back up and just keep going. And I miss it. I wish Pizza Hut, if you're watching this, please bring those restaurants back. They are so damn good. I miss them so much. Mm. The vegetarian is actually not too bad. Oh my god, it has so much flavor. I still think Pizza Hut is like still one of the best. It's still one of my favorite. No, I didn't care. How good other pizza pizza places are. Pizza Hut is just like the OG, like it's where it all began for me, and I'm very loyal to Pizza Hut. Like I really love Pizza Hut. Like no matter how many good Pizza Hut places open up, I always love Pizza Hut. Like no matter what. Like seriously, yeah. Hmm. Look at that. No good flavor. Hmm. Mm. I also got I got a circle shaped um, dessert oh wow <clears throat> there you go just to show I'm not cheating it's a circle there you go oh my god alright chocolate that is so good Mmm, that's so good. Mmm. Man. God, I love Pizza Hut. Alright guys, so I've eaten as much pizza as I can. I ate the dessert, it was absolutely delicious. Pizza Hut, I love you guys. Bring back the restaurants. We miss the restaurants and the buffets. Alright, so next place we're going to go to. Bakery! Alright guys, so we're gonna go to a bakery right now. Hey, good, how are you today? Uh, can I get um, one Portuguese tart? Um, uh, one... One date scone? Yeah, I'll say yeah, thank you so much. And last one, if I can get a, um, a vanilla slice. 
and that's all thank you so much all right guys we're back from the bakery guys it's so hot today man this Australian weather man it's super hot all the time so we come back from the bakery and I got some delicious Portuguese tarts and I got some other good stuff I'll show you after we'll try the first one so check this out I've never had a Portuguese tart before so I heard they're pretty good mmm yo do that custard inside there mmm it's actually really good that's not bad at all Wow, oh, this is super Aussie. I got the um, the date scones. Scones are like super Aussie, man. Maybe it came from the British. I don't know. Mm. These are so good with butter. And if you have a good butter, the best butter I like is a French butter. And French butter is the best. It's nice and salty and creamy, and it tastes so buttery. Mmm. This by itself is just as good, man. Hmm. It's so busy today. It's so busy. I think because it's Friday. Hmm. Last and final. I got one of my favorites. It's one of these. Um. It's like a cinnamon roll thing. Check it out. <laughs> I love these. These are delicious. Oh my god. Oh my. It's got like this butter in there. Oh my gosh, like butter and sugary stuff on top. Man, this is so good. Yeah, this one's my favorite. Oh my god. Everything was shaped in a circle. Yeah, shaped in a circle, so we're still going. All right, I've just finished eating all of them. They were so damn delicious. Shout out to that bakery, man. I think it was Baker's Delight or something like that. Anyway, so we're gonna go to the next place, all right? <laughs> Carl's Jr. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Carl's Jr. Now, there's a few burgers I like there. So they are in the shape of a circle, which is good. So I think I might try and get the most popular one, but I might choose one that I've seen in the picture they've got like these really good ones and i might get some onion rings i don't know but anyway we'll go there right now let's go let's roll hi how can i help you today uh could i please get by itself the famous star uh, with cheese burger uh, yeah, the famous star with cheese. yeah, yeah. By uh just by itself please and also could i please get uh the onion rings as well yeah and that's all thank you so much perfect you're gonna travel Thank you so much. It's so brand new here. This, so this store, Carl's Jr. is brand new. It's like the first one that's opened up in my area. And it's so nice. Like it's super nice. Good customer service, which is good. Pretty good. Take my glasses off for this. <laughs> hey guys, tell me, um, comment below and tell me where you guys are from which country are you guys from and tell me what's your favorite food to eat i'd like to know where you guys are from where my followers are from and what your favorite food to eat and i might give that a try myself okay <laughs> hey how are you brother good man the famous and onion rings yeah that's it bro yeah thank, thank you so much or, uh, just on phone, phone card, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Busy day? Yeah, not too bad, man. I'm actually doing a um, say hi to the camera on YouTube. Hey, hey what's going? up, what's up? I love Carl's Jr., man. What's up? I'm glad to hear you, yeah. man. There for you? Thank you so much, brother. What do you got planned for the day, eh? Um, I'm doing a, sorry, I gotta do it. Um, I'm doing a, um, what is it, like, I'm eating everything that's in the shape of a circle. So that's why, that's why I got the onion rings and the, and the burger, it's the shape of a circle. So this is like, I think the third place. I've got two more places to go, so. You've got a long day ahead of you. Yeah, I know, man. It should be good. Thanks, brother. Thank you, man. What's up? What's up, guys? All right, so we got the food right here. Carl's Jr. That's it, brother. So we got. I think I hit my car on the. Um, I think I damaged my car on the side of the thing. Far out. I got to check it out. I think I damaged like the side of my car because I smashed into this pole. I didn't see it, man. I was so close. Anyway. 
burger rings. Um, no, so onion rings. My bad. What a nice guy. That guy was so nice. Great. He has like so much energy. That guy had great customer service, friendly, and that's what you want. Like, that's what that's what makes me want to come back. Even though I'm not into bad food, but you just want to come back to these places. All right, here we go. Circle. It's in a circle, so I'm still going. Hmm. They're not bad. Mmm, they're really hot. But they're, they're not bad at all. Mmm. First time ever. Carl Jr. Not bad, not bad. Now the burger. I'm gonna try this one. This burger looked really good. The famous star. That's it. So, I'm gonna give this a try. Good. I left my car on because the air condition is really nice and it's so hot out there bro. That's what it's like to be living down under brother. Where the bloody hell are ya? <laughs> now that wasn't funny. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this. Alright guys, we've got the burger here. We got the um, all the goods there. There you go. Meat, all that stuff. It's pretty simple but taste is what matters most anyway, so. Mmm, that's not bad. That tastes so similar to a Macca's burger. It's so similar. Oh my god, I'm dropping everything in my car. It's a good burger, but it tastes exactly like a Macca's burger. It's very similar, man. Like, if you had a blindfold, man, and I was eating Macca's and this, I wouldn't be able to tell. They smell the same and they taste very similar. The buns are very a little bit different as well, but apart from that, the taste is very similar. So it's still really good. It's a really good burger. Mmm. Mm. Alright guys. We got the box. Let's try the next one. <gasps> ah! Petrol station! So we're gonna go to a petrol station and we'll try and find as many circle shaped food. So far we're doing really good. So let's go. Woosa. Uh, maybe I should get these. These are good. Hey, yo. Good, thank you. How's your day going anyway? Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Big orders. What's that, sorry? Big orders. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's warm out there. Well, it's not as bad as yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know, oh, right? All right, I'll get these. Cool. You want to serve me or? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Cheers. Oh, oh yeah, man. Uh, just these two. Oh, yeah, and also just the Jeep there, please. Oh, yeah. Um, what number is that anyway? That's uh, number seven. Oh, God, I can never figure that out. Yeah, there's only like five numbers there, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was like, say so seven, eight, nine. Yeah, what's that for? Ah, like? uh, so there's the two the two diesel ones, so they're different. Oh, and sorry. Because I always just say my Jeep. I'm like, it's it, like, it works. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Like 34 bucks. Huh? Thank you so much. What's up, guys? All right, so I'm back from the petrol station. Found like some nice, cool parking spot. It's like a, you see, it's like a farm here. Look at that. Woo. I feel like I'm back in the country. I grew up in the country, worked on farms, it was amazing. Alright, so I got the circle shaped food. I want to eat this before it melts. That looks pretty cool, eh? They're about to melt far out. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. You know how you go to a petrol station and, and you use a pump, it's so dirty to pump, eh? I have to use some sanitizer. 
because these pumps are so dirty. They are so dirty, man. You have to use sanitizer before you eat, man. Keep clean. Next one I got, the pie. Shape of a circle. I haven't had a pie in over like five years. I'm not big on pies. I do like Greek pie, but I make my Greek pie. I mean, it's Spani Kopita. I'll make the best one ever. Tell me if, you, if you've ever had Spani Kopita. Let me know. <clears throat> Sorry, it's so sweet, that, sh that chocolate. Oh my God. All right, guys, so the pie right here, it's circle. Not cheating. Mmm, they're really good. It's a um, slow cooked Aussie beef. Slow cooked Aussie beef. It's really nice. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's what it reminds me of. When I was in school. Oh my god, when I was in high school and primary school, I used to go to the tuck shop. In Australia, we call it tuck shop or canteen in America. And I would literally buy one of these pies for lunchtime when I was in school. That's how it reminds me. Oh my god, and the sausage roll. It's so Aussie, man. Pies and sausage rolls. This that's like the most Aussiest thing ever. And a can of coke. That's super Aussie. This is a good pie. It is a really good pie. Mmm. Oh my god. Can't complain. Look, look where I am. It's so peaceful. It's so nice. It's just me. Nah, I'm still in the city. I still live in the city. It's very deceiving the background. There's all train tracks over there and a lot of houses, so it's just one bit of land. It's not it's not like a farm or anything. It's a nice quiet spot. I don't really like when I'm doing food reviews, I don't really like being in a crowded area with like lots of people and stuff. Especially when I'm by myself. I just feel kind of like nervous. I still have like I still get a little bit embarrassed when there's a lot of people. But if I'm with someone, then maybe I might be like I'm cool with it. But I'm usually by myself doing it, so. Mmm. Good. Alright guys. We're gonna just do one more. I'm really tired and it's, and it's just I've had too much takeout, man. When I do these, when I do these like food reviews or challenges, I gain so much weight and I have to like work it off. It takes like two, three days to actually work off that weight and get back to my normal weight. But anyway, we'll do another one. Oh, five burrows. So that's five burrows. It's a um, it's a new burger joint that's opened up down the down the road, and it's really popular. I went past there just now, and there's a lot of people, so it's doing really good. I saw the menu um, the, like a couple of weeks ago. It's really good. They got like some brisket burgers. They got onion rings, so I'll get that as well. But there's not a lot of circle shaped food apart from the burgers. They got a lot of pork ribs, but I can't get that. But anyway, we'll go there right now. Okay, let's go. Hey. Do I wait? Uh, are we after the table? Uh, no, just I made an order, pick up order. Okay. Yep, uh, camera. Oh, that's for I'm doing a food review. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Put you on uh, YouTube, brother. Uh, thank you. <laughs> see how good you guys are. Hey. I'm seeing how good you guys are. It's First what? time, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah so. I heard you guys are pretty good. I, I looked you guys up. You gotta so. come in and eat, bro. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. I've got the camera here. Yeah. Is that right? Oh, you can come in. This is amazing. It's so cool. Kitchen there. What's up, guys? Oh, sweet. Thank you so much, man. Right. Appreciate it, bro. Cheers, man. Oh, hello. How are you? YouTube, Hello. how you doing? Your restaurant's beautiful by the way, so yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Really. I can't wait to try this burger. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. What's up guys? Alright, so I've got the burger here. 
And guys, if you don't know, so the name is Five Boroughs. And I actually looked it up. So Five Boroughs are like five major areas in New York City. I'll show you what I mean. So this is this is it. So Five Boroughs is made uh, is New York made of five major areas, and it's basically Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, and the Bronx. So I didn't know what that meant. So that's five boroughs. It's pretty cool because I didn't know. I was like, what's five boroughs? I thought it was like. I actually didn't know. I th I didn't even know it was American. So so that's a good insight. So that's some good information for you. Um, by the way, I met the owners. The owners are so nice. They're like super friendly, outgoing. They shook my hand. I can tell that they were the owners because they had the laptops open and everything. This place is massive, man. Um, hope I don't get copyright because of the music, but um, I'll try and be quick because of the, I might get copyright for, from YouTube. So I've got the burger right here. So here it is. Here, it's absolutely amazing. I can't eat the I can't eat the pickle because it's not in the circle. So so this burger looks insane, man. Oh my god. This is one, look at this. Look at that sucker right here. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, brother. Bro, that's so good, man. Oh my god. Bro. It's got like... The brisket. You got the brisket in there? You got the bacon? It's got that smokiness. The thing about five burrows. It tastes so different to all the other places. It's got like their own identity. And I'm saying that in a good way. Five Burrows, it's got like a different taste, like a smokiness. It's like freshly smoked and cooked on the grill. That's what it tastes like. Different to Macca's, different to Hungry Jack's. But it's actually really good. It's really good. The bun's toasted nicely. And the meat is like fresh as. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy, that's so good. Um, when I came in with the camera, <laughs> the guy, the guy felt a bit awkward because I had the GoPro and I had the GoPro there, and the guy looked at it and he's like, "What's the camera for?" And I'm like, "I do food reviews." And he was like, he was just wondering why, the, why, why I've got a camera on. But I told him, I'm like, you know, I, I try to be polite. I don't want to stick the camera in front of people's faces. You know what I mean? So I try to be discreet and just put the camera here and not have it in people's faces, but... And so he was like, oh, okay, I see. So yeah, I said, look, I'm doing food reviews and we'll see how that goes, but... Apart from that, this, this burger is good. It is actually a really good burger. It's just got so much flavor and it's so fresh. It's not like processed made like Hungry Jack's or Macca's and all those fast food places do it so processed. It's like they made it to order. And that brisket is like really nice. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Good brisket. Mm. Boy, I'm coming back here. I'm coming back here, brother. This is so good. Mm. Mm. They, they ran out of um, onion rings. So I have to come get the onion rings, but hopefully next time. I'll definitely be back. I'd rate this burger out of 10. A good eight and a half. A good eight and a half, because the customer service was good. And they're super polite. Just such good customer service, really friendly and outgoing. Not only that, mainly the burger is really good. The burger has a lot of taste. And it's just, it just screams flavor, man. Like flavor. Alright guys, I just got home. What a day it's been. And so far we're going really good. We haven't been disqualified yet. We've been eating everything that's been in the shape of a circle. So now we come to dinner time. And at dinner time I do love a good shake. But the bad news is I've only got these here. So as you can see, not all the fruit here is in a circle. So we only have, I think the um the blueberries, um, what's it called? The blueberries are in this circle. So I've got to individually pick them out. So I want to try and pick these ones out individually, which kind of sucks. So, um, so this is what I mean. If you can see here, I'm going to have to pick out these ones individually. Is if you can see here. So, see how they're in a circle. I'm just going to show you. See how they're in a circle. These are the ones I have to pick out individually, and then 
put them in in here. So I want to be here for a while, guys, and I want to pick these out individually because, as you can see, there's different fruits in here that aren't in the shape of a circle. Um, we've got here like strawberries as well, but yeah. So I'll be here for a while, so I'll get you. Um, I'll let you guys know once I'm actually done. Okay. All right, guys. Good news. We managed to pick out all the ones in a circle. So these ones here, I think they're blueberries or something. Yeah, so all circle, there's nothing. As you can see here, there's proof there's nothing, no strawberries, no blackberries, it's just the standard circle blueberries. So we're still going good. So I love a shake, I love being healthy, so fill this up. And we're gonna put in the blender, all right? Alright, so I managed to pick out all the circle shaped fruit and I put it into the shake here while we're done. Oh, that is so good. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, have a good day guys. Peace. See ya.